Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Well, as you may or may not know, the UK is in another lockdown due to this bloody coronavirus. Um, it's spreading like wildfire now, so um, we're in lockdown again, which means no leisure boating. Not that I'm really uh, wanting to move now. Now that I've found the new boat, <clears throat> um, I want to sort of hang around it as much as possible. Um, because, you know, I'm just waiting now to get the, I need to get the survey done, but I can't get the survey done until it gets, it gets lifted out of the water. I can't get it lifted out of the water until at least early March. Uh, so I just have to buy my time. So it kind of, it coincides well with lockdown to be fair. So, uh, there's not much I can do about it anyway. Uh, and with lockdown, you know, I doubt I'll be able to get a lift out of the water anyway. So, <clears throat> um, so as you announced what was being made last night, I went to Tesco, stocked up on about a month's supply or a bit more of food and what have you, um, and moved the boat. I got water as well, stocked up with plenty of water, and I moved the boat out of town, away from the crowds, and down into the countryside. So this is my new mooring spot. Um, I get excellent 4G down here. Um, and I'm only a bike ride away if I need something. You know, I've got a trolley and my bike and stuff. So if I need petrol or water or whatever, I can go back and get... It's just this way my um, interaction with people is few and far between. Because it is just... This virus is just going berserk now. So, um, yeah, I just want to stay away from people as much as possible. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, I, I've got to wait now for a couple of months to get the survey, but it's really a formality, the survey, because I want the boat, you know, and I got it for a good price, and um, it's, even if it, I just don't think it's gonna have major problems. It's got a few issues I'm aware of already, like a bit of pitting and what have you, but, you know, it's made by a very reputable boat builder with, you know, British steel. Um, and I have seen a video of the hull as well, um, and it looks in pretty good nick from what I can, but I'm no expert, right? I won't know the full results of the survey until I actually get it done. But from the information I've received from the current owners, um, plus seeing the video, you know, it's just been blacked as well with 12 new anodes fitted. Um, it's just passed this boat safety certificate as well. It's ready to go, you know. The, um, like I said, the survey is just a formality so that I know what the state of the hull is in, you know, for the next however many years I've got the boat, you know. So that's really all I want the survey for. It's not for anything else, really. Or maybe insurance purposes, maybe, but that's about it. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's where I'm up to, people. Not much you can do now. <laughs> I'm going to spend the next few weeks, you know, planning and researching renovations. Um, I've, jo I've just requested uh, to join a group on Facebook called Narrowboat Interiors. Uh, wow, great place for inspiration. Anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for me. I'll just show you where I am actually. Those boaters who know this canal will know exactly where I am. I've got a lovely view of the river right there. You know, it's looking quite swollen at the moment. I'm sure that will change as well. I'm sure it'll get worse over time. <laughs> Um, still a bit of snow around, um, but yeah, this is where I'm going to hang, and just along there a little bit, probably about a 20 minute walk, uh, maybe a little bit longer is Aldi, if I really need to go to a supermarket, but I basically stocked up with enough food to last me for the next month or so, but yeah, it's a lovely spot, away from everybody, yeah, I just want to, yeah, do all I can to stay away from people as much as possible, but there you go. I'll leave you with that lovely view of the stuff in Worcestershire Canal.